Let's bring in Senior Associate Dean at Stanford Medicine, Dr. Yvonne Maldonado, who led that Pfizer trial for kids ages six months to 11 years old. She's also on the Pediatric Vaccine Advisory Panel for the CDC. Doctor, I know you just left a CDC meeting to chat with us, so our thanks to you for joining us. Thank you for having me. And you're in these important meetings. Parents everywhere are wondering when these shots will be available to kids. What is the latest that you can tell us on the timing? Well, um, we know that next Tuesday, the uh, Food and Drug Administration will review the data on the 5 to 11-year-old uh, vaccine uh, made by Pfizer. And then followed by that uh, a meeting, FDA will make a recommendation. Um, uh, and uh, then November 2nd and 3rd, the CDC will review the data and make their final decisions around 5 to 11-year-olds. So hopefully... Uh, sometime the first week of November, there should be uh, shots available for children uh, between 5 and 11 years of age. I mean, really, that's pretty quickly here. But are there, you hearing anything that could slow down this approval process? You know, it's always hard to know exactly what's going to happen. But so far, everything looks very promising, and I, I'm very optimistic. Looking at the trial specifically here, the company today, Pfizer, saying the vaccine is 91% effective for kid, kids ages 5 to 11. What were the side effects that you were looking for during this trial? And were you able to actually test the immune system response to know that it was working? Yes. Yeah, uh, so we looked for the same uh, effects that we saw in the older children and in the adults. But we also looked for any effects that families uh, or children would notice whether or not we asked for them or not. So we asked for anything that they thought was out of the ordinary, just to be on the safe side. Um, and right. we didn't really see any of those signals. Um, no, really so uh, we do think that um, this vaccine is uh, immunogenic, which means that you get a very good antibody response. And we are doing further studies to look at other immune markers um, uh, that the vaccine might provide. And finally, you know, some of these parents may have been happy to get the vaccine themselves, but then could be a little apprehensive when it comes to their kids. Do you understand that hesitation? Absolutely. Um, you know, COVID is a new virus. It's really only been around for a little under two years. And uh, the vaccines are extremely safe. We know that uh, hundreds of millions of people have received uh, vaccines um, and uh, but at the same time, I think people tend to be very careful with their children. However, we know that uh, what the track record for these vaccines is so far. We have a great safety tracking system. And in fact, COVID does cause pretty serious illness in children when they, uh, in those children who um, get infected, the, the, while the risk is not as high as it is in adults, uh, when children have severe disease, it really is um, a, an unfortunate event. And we know the children uh, need to be protected just as well as adults do. All right. Well, our thanks to you, Dr. Yvonne Maldonado. Uh, thank you for your work and your time. Thanks so much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.